and thanks for joining us here at Body Slam the Competition again. My name is Chris Adams. I'm your host of the show, along with Mike Currents, my great co-host as always. Mike, how are you doing today? A little colder than usual, but not too bad, Chris. Hey, it's not too bad where I'm at today. It's pushing close to 65, I think. I'm not rubbing it in, though. Not rubbing it in. Oh, you never but, would. But hey, it's great here. Uh, we got a great show for everybody today. <clears throat> I mean, we have a legend of legends on with us. We have the Take your pick. Uh, handsome Jimmy Valiant, the Boogie Woogie Man, Jimmy Valiant. Call him what you want, but he's great either way it goes. Jimmy, how you doing today? Great, great, Chris. First of all, brother, hey, I want to uh, say thanks for having me on, man. The uh, body slam for com- uh, competition, brother. And, uh, Mike, hey, great talking to you, brother, out there. And keep warm, my man. And, uh, hey, Boogie Woogie Man, ready to go, baby. Well, that's what we like to hear. All right. I had uh, I, I had asked a couple, a few people, polled some people if they had any questions or anything they wanted me to ask and everything. And I got one here I thought was pretty good. I remember reading in your book I got how you uh, were on the road a lot with uh, Johnny Valiant teaming with him and everything. And uh, one of my good friends, Scott Milton, wants to know, what was it like teaming with with Johnny Valiant? Oh, brother, you know, God bless him. You know, me and Johnny was together uh, five years, five productive years, man, and uh, – you know, well, we were together more than we were with our families, you know. Uh, uh, you know, we, we went to coast to coast just like buttered toast, man, you know. And uh, we were up in New York. Uh, 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 Captain Lou Abano, you know, uh, managed us. Uh, uh, and we, we had to held the WWWF straps in uh, 1973 and 74 for uh, over 14 months. At that time, that was a record uh, at, at one time, one long stretch uh, 14 months holding the the world tag team uh, uh, straps and and uh, so, so you know and then then of course you know uh, we were in the WWA for Dick the Bruiser in Indianapolis and Pretty Boy Bobby Heen and um, you know he was our manager there and uh, you, you know we uh, were a great company man and so so then then of course hey we went to Atlanta man you know for uh, um, uh, you know. Uh, uh, Georgia Championship Wrestling um, with Jim Barnett. Uh, we stayed there, you know, a year and uh, went to Minneapolis for uh, AWA for Vern Gagne, you know. Uh, we stayed there for a year. Uh, we, we went out to San Francisco uh, as a, a tag team, um, uh, you know, and uh, uh, stayed there for uh, nine, ten months, you know, and uh, for, for uh, Shires and, and Roy Shires. And everywhere we went, man, we, we took the straps, took their titles, and uh, Man, we just had a good ride. And uh, Johnny's so good, man. You know, Luscious Johnny, Handsome Jimmy. And, hey, we used to say, you know, uh, there ain't no difference between the Valiant brothers, man. You know, uh, hey, I'm Handsome Jimmy, and this is my brother, Luscious Johnny. Now, the only difference is I'm not Luscious. I'm just Handsome. And he's not Handsome. He's just Luscious, man. (laughs) Uh, That's an excellent point. You guys were one of the great tag teams back in that time, uh, back when you were together. Uh, When you... Look at tag teams, say, in the last 10, 15 years. Um, uh, I mean, more or less after your time in WCW when you were there, you had people like the Steiner Brothers, you had Doom, you had you still had the Road Warriors going for a while there. Um, uh, of all the tag teams you've seen over the years, including the new ones, who do you think is one of the best tag teams you've ever seen? Oh, man, you know, probably, uh, uh, you know, going back in, in my era, uh, I would say, uh, you know, uh, Ray Stevens and 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 uh, you know uh, out there in San Francisco and and uh, 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 his 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 partner uh, uh, man oh man uh, he's up with WWE uh, man oh man oh uh, shoot in fact he was inducted in the WWE uh, um, uh, Hall of Fame uh, the, the year I was and uh, uh, man. Uh, uh, Man, man, help me out there, Chris. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm trying to think. I remember Stevens te- uh, teaming with Bachwinkle. I don't know if that was the same year Bachwinkle went in. Though. I think yeah, went no, in later. no, they were they were in Minneapolis, but this was San Francisco and uh, and and uh, um, and uh, oh um, uh, shoot, uh, oh man, brother, man, he'll come to me, brother, man. Uh, but hey, uh, and I love him. I love <laughs> love the cat, man, and and and. Um, but uh, in, in, uh, he was in our class. That got got uh, in. in um, but anyway, man, yeah, go on, man. Stevens, uh, yeah, Ray, Ray Stevens, and and. Uh, uh, but anyway, there were so many good tag teams. You know, of course, Bruiser and uh, uh, um, and, and uh, 
Snyder, you know, they teamed up. But the, 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 before that, it was the, the uh, Dick the Bruiser and um, and the Crusher. You know, man, they, they were the first guys that uh, were characters. You know, that uh, were were just uh, didn't change their style at all. You know, Mike, Chris. You know, and man, they they were the top heels in the business. You know, and then all of a sudden. Uh, when uh, they became fan favorites, you know, and they didn't stay, uh, change their style, and, and I didn't either, you know, when I was Handsome Jimmy, you know, I was a rough cat man, and, and uh, you know, when I became the Boogie Woogie Man, then, of course, uh, I was a crowd pleaser, and, uh, hey, I didn't change my style, you know, man, I hit people with cheers, I pull their hair, and, uh, you know, every referee say, hey, did you pull his hair, and I say, hey, ask the people, and, and they say, no, no, hey, man, Boogie didn't pull no hair, you know, but but uh, they they did great interviews and uh, uh, this is where I uh, but they were the first you know it, there's always someone before you you know and, yeah. and they, they they were the first brother and when I became the boogie woogie man I did the, the you know roughly the, the the same thing they did and got over like a million dollars. Now the other guy you were talking about that would have been, been Pat Patterson would it? Pat Patterson yeah thank you so much. It, it just it just hit you me know, a moment ago I was sitting there thinking to myself is, people yeah, in man, WWF Mike, who's high up and it's got to be oh. Briscoes or or Patterson oh. or somebody like that. Patterson very good Chris yeah 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 Br- brother what a team man you know and me and Johnny uh, you know we had the straps and and uh, and and uh, you, you know we we uh, dropped the straps to him uh, seemed like when we left uh, San Francisco but uh, oh what a, what a tag team I'm telling you you know. Both them cats, man, they can go and, uh, uh, you, you know, they can do it all, you know. And, hey, bombs away, man, you know, Ray would come off that, uh, yeah, you know, big rope, man. And, and, and the thing is, you know, um, guys, you know, uh, if you see something, like, like I said before, someone before you do whatever, you know. And, and, and Ray Stevens, if you see someone that, that um, uh, does that uh, upside-down uh, uh, turnbuckle, you know, like Flair and uh, – you know, flips over the ropes, you know, and then he uh, does a little uh, walk or, or, you know, down the down the apron. But, you know, uh, before that, you know, if someone sees someone do that now, it's, oh, he's doing Ric Flair. But yeah. no, he got that from Ray Stevens. Ray Stevens, uh, you know, was the first to come out with that move, and uh, it was beautiful, man. And, and um, you know, just like Handsome Jimmy, you know, I wasn't the first Handsome Jimmy, you know, uh, 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 because before for me, hey, there was a handsome Harley Race man, uh, uh, you know, for just a, a little while, and a pretty boy Bobby, a uh, pretty boy uh, 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 Henning, you know, and 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 um, which was Mr. Perfect's daddy. They teamed up, but that's another good tag team, man, you know, and and uh, and then before that, uh, there was uh, you know a couple of uh, other handsome ones, but uh, hey, I was the first boogie woogie man, you know. Uh, Hey, I, I, I well, uh, came up with that name myself. I'd yeah. say you're probably the, the one and only Boogie Woogie Man now. There, there, the, you go, there, there, are Im, there are imitators out there, we'll say. Yes, man. Yes, <laughs> man. They, they often imitated and sell them, uh, and sell them duplicated. That's what the uh, sweet man used to say, <laughs> man. Uh, 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 Sputnik Monroe, you know, uh, another old-timer. Yeah. And, uh, oh, man. Fargo I, I took after him. him a little bit, I believe, when he, he'd say the you're same good. thing. He, he would say... Uh, about the Fargo uh, brothers, he'd say often imitated, never duplicated, all the yes. time. Well, see, see that all came back. That all came back, brother, from uh, uh, you know uh, Monroe, you know uh, uh, Sputnik Monroe, and uh, he was the one that originated that. Uh, but of course, you know, you do come up with stuff. You know, I reinvented myself. You know, and that, that was my idea. You do come up with stuff. You know, and just like coming out to music, Chris. And, and, and Mike, you know, um, I wasn't the first to come out to music, but I was one of the first in the country to uh, get it going. And, and the first one was uh, 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 Gorgeous George, the original Gorgeous George. He right. came out to music at, on TV in the early 50s when TV just got going and wrestling got going and got wrestling red hot. And, and the whole thing was um, um, in 1970, I went to New York uh, with WWF, Vince McMahon Sr., you know, um, the, the, the Vince you see today, I, I worked for his father in the 70s uh, at three different times, man, stayed 15 months uh, in three different times in the 70s in New York for WWF, and, and, and the thing was um, that, uh, uh, you, you know, if you if you start out doing anything, man, you know, like uh, they put me with uh, 
uh, Ernie Roth, the Grand Wizard, God bless him, uh, he's no longer with us, either is Luke, Captain Lou, you know, or Bono, but uh, God bless him. They're, they're in the big ring in the sky there, Chris, man. They're looking down on us, man, man at, at your uh, radio show right now, enjoying, brother, we were talking about them. Uh, but, um, you know, uh, 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 the Grand Wizard says, Ernie Roth, he says, man, we got to do something different. Uh, you know, I was handsome Jimmy then. And, and he says, uh, how about coming out to music, man? So uh, um, we came out to music, and, and uh, you, you know, if it was 1970. Nobody was doing it. Nobody. I was the first to come out to Madison Square Garden to music and, and everywhere else, uh, Philadelphia, you know, the Boston Gardens, you name it, man, you know. But but um, then I, I always put that in the back of my mind. Then in 1977, I went to Tennessee, worked with Lawler and, and uh and uh, uh, Jarrett, you know, uh, uh, Jerry Jarrett, you know, that's Jeff's, Jeff's father. Right. And, that's what and, I grew uh, up on was that right there. Oh, brother, right there. Okay. Well, Jimmy Hart, man, was there, and uh, we, we did a, a, a song, Son of a Gypsy, and that was my song. And Jimmy wrote this song and the music. I sang it, and, and um, it was a real hot little deal around there. So I said, let's come out to music, man. Let's come out to that song. And, and uh, Jarrett went with it, and uh, we did. And, and uh, man, it was something big, you know. And, and so when, when I started that, you know, uh, uh, Lawler and, and Dundee and uh, uh, God bless them and, and, and uh, Austin Idol and, uh, hey, uh, you know, everybody, man, they looked, see how hot it was, man. And so they started coming out, which is great, see. But, but uh, nobody was coming out. So I was the first there. And then in 1980, when I became the Boogie Woogie Man, um, you know, and, and they switched me around back to uh, uh, crowd pleaser, and, and uh, so 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 when that happened, because um, um, you know, Jared, I was working uh, there, and, and I was teamed up with um, I was King James, I was King uh, teamed up with um, uh, uh, Valentine, Greg Valentine, the Hammer, uh, for for the Crockett's in, in 1980 and 81, and and uh, so uh, Jared calls for me for Lawler to. Uh, me and him to team up to go against some guys up there, and so uh, I went there in, in, in Memphis Coliseum on Monday night, sold out. I come back, and man, they're all excited because Jarrett's already calling, trying to get another date on me uh, from Crockett, and, and he said, "Man, why don't you tell me that uh, you know your your big baby face there, man? You know, and uh, you know." I said, "Well, I'm a character there. I don't change my uh, my way. I, you know, I'm I'm handsome Jimmy, but uh, man." You know, I just go in and kick can and uh, do it, do it, and and uh, he said, well, that's what we want here. So um, anyway, so so uh, I they, sw they they sent me out for six weeks. I went to work Tennessee with Jared for six weeks, and then I, when I came back, brother, um, they had me all ready. I started a beard, long my my long beard, and and, and um, I came out and, and came out. To, I said, let me come out to music and. And the uh, hot song then was Boy from New York City. I was from New York City, you know, a build. And so the, it was, the whole deal was that um, I, I came out first to music. Now, nobody's come out to music there in, in 1981, 82 in, in Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, Mid Atlantic. And, and um, brother, it got over like, a, uh, you know, gangbusters. It got over so strong that. Um, they, then, you know, all of a sudden, you know, Dusty's there. He's coming up to music. Flair's there. You know, Steamboat, Wahoo, Piper, Andre, everybody, Mickey Mouse, man. Everybody's <laughs> coming out to music, which is great. Hey, it's great, Chris, you know. And, and, and I'll tell you, hey, Mike, you know, also, you know, now you got to be different. See? You gotta, because, hey, I started, I said, well, let me do this. When I came out to music, I started dancing with people, going up in the uh, balconies going up you know in the, with the people and hugging them kissing them man and I'd kiss everybody I'd kiss hey, you know grandma Poor. grandpa yeah babies children Poor old Tony hey. Schiavone never stood a chance did he oh man hey Schiavone Schiavone <laughs> man I'd kiss him and Crockett man I'd kiss everybody man it didn't matter who that white color man green blue purple black it, it didn't matter man yellow uh, green Hey, hey, it don't matter, brother, man. Shark Shoes, I kiss them people, baby. And, and um, you know, it got over. Of course, hey, now, there's probably not too many people want to kiss people like that, but it, it got over, you know. you got to be different. So real fast to, to finish this little thing here, if I was still, you know, uh, 
uh, headlining and, and, you know, uh, up there doing this and that. Uh, uh, you know, everybody comes out to music now from the first match up. And it's good because the music hits, the people know who's coming out. Big pop for you, they even see it. Just the music. But what I would ask now is, is for me to say, hey, man, you know, everybody comes to music, blah, blah, blah. Hey, what I want to do myself is come out to no music because it'd be different. You dig it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. There it is, man. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Jimmy, I got a quick hey, question hey, for hey, you. Hey. Yes, sir. You know, you, you previously stated you'd been, you know, coast to coast. I'm sure you've been around the world. Um, where was your favorite place to wrestle? Oh, man, you know, I, I tell you, I, I was so fortunate, uh, uh, Mike, to uh, be able to wrestle all the big territories in the United States. You know, uh, you know, of course, NWA and, and WWA and, and, and uh uh, AWA and uh, I mean it, just all of them, man. WWF, uh, you know, so many times and and um, I was just so fortunate, you know. And of course, uh, I went to Japan five times, man, and Canada. You, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I was just uh, uh, it's just been a blessing for my life. Uh, I started wrestling 1964, guys, and um, and I'm still lacing the boots up. Tomorrow, man, I'm gonna put the boots on and. And, and I'm going up in North Carolina to wrestle, you know, and, uh, 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 you, you know, I wrestle, I do something every week. Uh, I just want to be a goodwill ambassador for this. And uh, while I got your your attention, too, guys, you and uh, um, Chris and, and Mike and, and everybody listening and uh, guys, uh, Angel, my, I, my, myself, we started uh, Boogie's Wrestling Camp Hall of Fame Museum here in Shawsville, Virginia, um, 25 years ago. And... Um, it's something that I give back to the, uh, uh, you, you know, the fans and, and the community and, and the world. We have people come from all over the world here. We're only open on Sunday. It's very unique. Only on Sunday for four hours. We start at, four, uh, at 12 noon. We finish at 4. And, and it's just four hours a week. That's all is open. But, brother, in, in them four hours, it's jamming every week. 52 Sundays a year. No matter what, if it's Mother's Day, Father's Day, uh, Christmas last year uh, uh, fell on a Sunday. We're here every Sunday, 52 Sundays a year from 12 noon to 4 o'clock. Please come. Be our guest. You can go in all the buildings. Got a Hall of Fame here. We got a, a museum. Um, uh, you watch the kids train. And here's the great part right here, uh, Chris and, uh, 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 you know, uh, Mike. Here's the best part, brother. Once you get here, man, it's all free. You don't pay to see nothing, man. You just come in. I'm here. You know, come in and, man, give me a hug, man. And, and brother, just enjoy yourself and just stay for an hour, two hours. Stay the whole four hours. You know, you come back every week, man. You know, just do do whatever. This is all Angel, my lovely wife, Angel, and myself. We started this, and uh, and she, she started her own um, wrestling company uh, in, in 202. Uh, I mean, probably a, a wrestling aware, uh, angels wrestling work, and uh, you, you know, hey, hey, check out guys. Uh, um, the, the, my official wrestling, um, uh, you, you know, website is uh, jimmyvaliant.weebly.com. That's jimmyvaliant.weebly, w-e-e-b-l-y.com. You got to put a dot there after Jimmy Valiant and then after Weebly. So it's Jimmy Valiant, one word, dot weebly.com. Now, when you get on that, you can go to Angels Wrestling Wear. You can go to our camp. There's a map how to get here. Hey, you can order my book. It's called, Woo, Mercy Daddy, Welcome My World, the Jimmy Valiant Story, man. Almost 600 pages, weighs three pounds. And uh, I know you got one, Chris, man. I do. You know, but I, can I, recommend, I highly recommend it. I, to anybody listening, it's a great read. If you love wrestling, it's a great read. Thank you so much, son. I tell people, Chris, you know, hey, buy you two copies, put one in each hand, work out with them, man. They're, that's a three-pound <laughs> book, brother, man. You know, biggest book out there, pro wrestling. And Adrian and I wrote it. It's all from me, you know. Uh, uh, I know a lot of the boys, uh, and, and they all got good books out, you know. I mean, from time to time, Dusty and uh, Harley and, uh, hey, you, uh, Ivan Cole, you name it, brother. They all got books, and someone done it for them. You know, uh, of course, it's it's their story, their life, and uh, they tell them. But, you know, it, it's in the writer's uh, ream. It's in the writer's uh, how they write it. You know, this book, every word is from my, my, my heart and, and my mind and, and Angel. And, and we did it together. It took five years to do it. And, uh, 
Hey man, pick you up one there, or a t-shirt. Pick you up something, brother man. You well, I'll be, one I, I, I will be visiting myself again very soon. There are some things I have missing. I have bought things in the past. You don't know this, I'm sure, but I bought them off. Uh, you had a, you did some stuff on eBay, like an eBay store, and I uh, I got an autographed magazine of you a while back. It's you with Bugsy McGraw on the cover, both of you covered in blood, and you autographed the cover of it. And I've got one of those, and I plan on going back for a picture soon as well. I've seen some pictures I, I wanted to grab, so I'll be, I, I will definitely be visiting myself here soon. Back to it again. You can count on that. I, you know, I, I do. Want, I, I do want to tell you something though. Um, a good friend of mine and Mike's, uh, he lives in South Carolina. He said that uh, he uh, had wished that we had gone live with it, but if, even if we were live, he had to work today and couldn't make it anyway. But he wanted to uh, know if we'd share something with you from him. If that's okay to go ahead and let you know this, uh, he said please, that um, please, yeah. he said uh, probably about 20 years ago. I think it was 1995. He said, and he, so he said you may not remember. It's been a good while. He, he he's he's trying to remember it the best he can himself. He was a teenager about to graduate and everything. He was being recruited by the Army, Navy, and stuff to be to come wrestle for him. You know, like amateur wrestling. Uh, he really loved professional wrestling, and you were one of his favorite people. And you just so happened to be in town there in Greenville, South Carolina, celebrating a birthday at a place called the Mustang Lounge. Um, <laughs> so I don't know if you remember Mustang Lounge, Greenville, South Carolina or not, but that's where you were at the time, he said. And something led up to you actually stopping by his house. And he said you were you actually had recruited him or had pitched to him that if he graduated high school that you would let him come to the school and you would train him and you'd guarantee him a shot, not you know, guarantee him a, a spot, but a shot to make it to WCW. And he just wanted to say, basically, that you know he appreciated all the interest you took in him back then and that time and everything that a lot of people didn't, and you you took the time to put the interest in him and and show his potential and stuff, and that uh, you were his childhood hero as, as far as a wrestler goes. And he said he to just basically say, tell him I really love him for it and everything. He was a great man back. He did a lot of great things, and you know that's not the only good thing you've done. I want people to know this as well. Just two weeks ago. Uh, you don't know me from anybody else, but you know we've talked in email when I was buying the book. You took the time out to call uh, our other friend. His brother was in the hospital. You called him in the hospital and spoke to him, and a couple of other wrestlers did as well. And uh, he was uh, having a bout with cancer he's battling. And uh, according to his brother, he grinned from ear to ear for about a week and didn't stop talking about it either for about a week. So I want to thank you for that as well. For what oh, you did. Thank so, you. But, uh, thank you so much. You're yeah, welcome. You're and uh, um, our our friend's name was Travis Rollins, the one that wanted to thank you for you know back in the day uh, showing the interest in him. He said he actually uh, didn't uh, graduate high school. He did eventually go back and get his GED though, and he's doing great today. Got a great paying job, great family. But he didn't want to say thank you for you know because he thinks back at that time, and that helps push him in the right direction and stuff. You know. Oh, Chris, that was very nice of, of that, and and Travis, and uh, I love you, Travis, man, and and. Uh, I don't actually remember. I remember uh, uh, doing a, a birthday bash at that lounge. I do uh, years ago, and I do remember talking to him. And 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 uh, man, oh man! And you, you know, you lose track of people. But uh, you know, uh, yeah, I did call. Uh, you, you requested uh, for me to call uh, his brother, and I did in the hospital and talked to him. And and uh, Angel and I, we prayed for him, and and. and He's still in our prayers, you know, and uh, uh, God listens to us, you know. We're all God's children, and uh, and uh, it, it's very nice. Yeah, anything I can do. You know, um, as I said, Chris and Mike, Mike uh, this uh, business has been so good to Angel and I, and, uh, um, you know, we I just want to be, uh, we both do, a, a goodwill ambassador for this, you know. I go out every Saturday or somewhere or whenever I can, uh, every week I do something, you know, and hey, I, I I tell the promoters they call me, man, you know, and I'm booked up the whole year, man, you know, and and they they say, um, Boogie, you know, what do you want to do? You sign out? I say, I don't care, man. Hey, I'll lace my boots up. I'll referee. I'll be your announcer. I'll 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 be your uh, commissioner for the night. I'll be your uh, uh, manager. Uh, Hey, hey, I'll sweep the floor. I'll, I'll tear the tickets at the door. I'll pop the corn, man. Hey, what do you want me to do, brother? I just want to be there and be part of this, you know. And, uh, uh, of course, and then every Sunday I'm back here at uh, BWC, Boogie's Wrestling Camp Hall of Fame Museum in Shawsville, Virginia. Uh, Shawsville, Virginia, we're up in the mountains. It's beautiful up here, Chris. And, and um, you and uh, 
uh, Mike's got to come up some Sunday and be my guest, man. You know, uh, the, man, we're um, uh, about 20 miles from Roanoke, Virginia, and about uh, 15 miles from Blacksburg, Virginia. That's where uh, uh, Virginia Tech is. So we're in Shawsville, not Charlottesville, Shawsville, S-H-A-W-S-V-I-L-L-E. But uh, anybody, you know, just go to uh, guys, um, uh, jimmyvaliant.weebly.com, and the address, everything's there. But, uh, yeah, man, you, you know, that's all uh, I want to do, man, is just continue. I, I've had over 10,000 matches, man. I drove 4 million miles on U.S. highways getting them matches. And, um, you know, I, this is my whole life, man. I, uh, this is 50 years, over 51 years I've been wrestling, and, and uh, this, is, this is the only thing I've ever done, you know. Uh, and, and, and this is the only thing that uh, I will ever do, you know. And I'm going to continue, man, until that phone quit ringing. And, uh, you know, and, and, and then, hey, brother, you know, uh, God, God's been real good to me. I, I trim down. I'm real lean, you know. And, uh, um, you know, of course, you can't carry all that weight on, you know, uh, you know as, as when you get older. You have to switch around, you know, because, uh, hey, we all got arthritis. We all got injuries, man, old injuries. And, and, and uh yeah, you, you know, uh, uh, it's just it's just something that uh, you got to uh, get back, uh, you know, to nature. And and uh, I talk a lot about it, guys, in my book. You know what I did, and 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 uh, you, you know, uh, I told the, the, I tried to help the people. And and right now, uh, Chris, you know, I weigh what I did in high school, man. You yes. know, and and because um, uh, it's it's something that I do. And, and I had to do, otherwise I, I wouldn't be able to move around, you know. Um, you know, God bless Ivan, man, I love him so much. And, and, and you know, I was born 1942, guys, in August, and so was Ivan Koloff, uh, 1942. And, and um, uh, Ole Anderson, God bless him, you know, he's, he's broken down now and is in a wheelchair. I, I just I love these guys. Yeah, man, and, and, you know, he was born in August 42, and... And, and uh, Paul Jones, number one, man, he was born in August of 42. So we're all uh, 73 years old. it would be 74 this year. And, and, and um, you know, uh, uh, I, I tell these guys, you trim down, man, trim down, brother. You know, they said, man, I love to eat. And I said, man, there ain't nobody loves to eat uh, as much as I do. That's all I think about. That's all I talk about. Me and Angel, hey, we go to bed, we talk about food, man. We talk about food all the time, you know, and I watch cooking, cooking shows, and, uh, hey, food's my deal, man, you know, but but uh, you got to be smart, and you got to, if you want to continue your life, and, uh, you know, uh, hey, there's no one did stuff like I did, you know, like anybody else, uh, but right now, um, you know, I got uh, Jesus Christ in my in, in my soul, in my heart, and, and, and um, you know, I'm back to nature, man, I I, I, I'm straight up, brother, man, and, and uh, I'm going to go with it as long as I can, Chris. Well, Jimmy, you mentioned Ivan Koloff a second ago. That kind of, it's like a perfect segue to a question that me and Mike talked about not too long ago. Uh, we did a show last week and the week before both on the WWE Hall of Fame about people who were in it and people who were not in it. Is it, I mean, are we ever going to see, you know, Ivan Koloff, the Rock and Roll Express, the Midnight Express, Jim Cornette, um, an announcer like Lance Russell? You know who's legendary in the business. Well, we ever, even though they didn't have WWE, WWF runs, uh, since Vince McMahon bought out all these companies and their rights to their video footages and characters and such, will we ever see people like this make the WWE Hall of Fame? You think? Oh, I hope so. I hope so, man. Uh, everyone you mentioned are, are deserves it, and uh, I, I just love them all. I, they're personal friends of mine for for their whole career. You know. Uh, of course, me and Ivan started at the same time, but uh, of course, Jimmy Cornette, I've known him since 12 years old. Uh, you read the book, you, you've seen that, you mm-hmm. know, and uh, uh, he was taking pictures in, in, in uh, Louisville of me and Lawler and all the stars, and 12 years old, man, and, uh, you know, taking pictures, that's how I, I met him, and, and uh, what a talent, man, you know, and uh, I was there the day he started, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, just, just a, 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 a beautiful, beautiful, talented man, and, and now, and, and uh, of course, rock and roll. You know, I tell the story, Ricky. Uh, you know, uh, in, in my book about Ricky, and uh, um, uh, you know, the first time that um, he came to Memphis to uh, 
uh, visit his dad. His dad was, uh, so he's second generation. His dad was uh, uh, Paul Paul Morton. He was a, 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 the referee, and, and Paul wrestled some years ago, too, but, but uh, right. he was a referee. And, and, and his uncle, Uncle Mac uh, York, was a, a wrestler, and so he come from a wrestling family, and um, so uh, uh, Paul wanted his dad wanted Ricky in there so good, so much, so bad, bad, you know. And he came in from um, he was painting uh, Holiday Inns. Uh, uh, he would uh, go around the country. He came in from Louisiana to Memphis Coliseum to see his dad, and he's going to come home and stay a week, and then go back and start painting again. Uh, and 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 Paul and I rode up with Paul from Nashville, and he said, "Would you ride back with my son Ricky?" You know. Uh, tonight and um, I said sure brother man you know uh, Paul whatever you want he said hey, and talk to him talk to him you know uh, handsome you know talk to him and and and, and uh, you know I want him in the business you know I said sure man so so uh, uh, we were parked inside the, the, the gated the thing Paul got got him back there and told the the guards let let my son in he's driving this uh, uh, pickup truck and uh, bop 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 and he, and he knows to say that. Uh, his name and that uh, just let him in when he comes, please. So he did. So anyway, so he came back and brought him back in the dressing room when he got there. And man, I looked at him. I mean, what a good looking kid. He's like 20 years old, man. He looked like a movie star, you know, 21. And, and I said, man, oh man, brother. I said, you gotta go to uh, Hollywood, brother. Let me manage you, man, you know. And, and so anyway, I was kidding him. And he, you know, he is such a good looking kid and, and, and still, still a good looking man now. But, but uh, that was 30, 40 years ago, but uh, this was like 1978, something like that, 79. And, and uh, so I had a lot of heat on me, and uh, 77 it could have been. But, but uh, I had a lot of heat on me, man. I went Lawler, and, man, there wasn't, uh, you know, I was a, a big heel there. and uh, <laughs> uh, so, so, so I said, now look, Ricky, I said, now we get in the truck, you know, and we're ready to go. I said, stop at the guard shack. I said, there's two guards. And there's two policemen outside the gate. I said that when they uh, give us a signal, they'll open the gate. The, the policemen will, will um, part the people. And I said, just go on through them, and we'll, we'll go on home, you know. But um, they're going to spot me, man, and, and it's going to, you know, be tough. I said, whatever you do, son, uh, because I have so much heat on I said, don't stop. No matter what, don't stop, you know, because, uh, uh, hey, man, they'll turn the truck over. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll get it. And um, so uh, he starts out, Chris, and, and they, they gave us a signal, and uh, they parted the people. And, you know, there's a mob there, you know, watching everybody leave and all yeah. that. Coliseum sold out, man. And, and, and so, so uh, they parted the people, man, and, and Ricky goes, and, and he gets like halfway through the park, and the people, you know, uh, he's going a little slow. And, and I just I started to say, speed up, son, don't stop. And the people got in front of the truck, and now they're banging on it. So he's got to stop, man. And he stopped, and he panicked, and, and uh, they're shaking the thing, and, hey, they're going to dump us over, and they're banging on it, cussing, man. Hey, answer, hey, that, 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 that. They don't know the kid. You know, they don't know Ricky. And, and uh, they're just after me. <laughs> and so I seen it getting too crazy. Now, there's two cops out there, and there's uh, 50, 60, you know, uh, uh, animals out there, brother. You know, natives, they're going crazy, man. So so I'm over in the in the shotgun seat, you know. Ricky's driving, and he, he panicked. So, so, and he's a young kid, and I don't, I, you know, I, 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 you know, anybody would, you know. You ain't going to run over nobody. Well, I took my um, left foot, brother, and, and Ricky, and, and I, because he had his foot on the gas, and, I, I kicked his foot off the the, um, the brake, and brother, I hit that gas, and it was a pickup truck, and it was light, and I floored it, man, and it started spinning, brother. It started spinning, and it stayed in spinning. It stayed in one place, but it was smoking and 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 crying, man. You know, making <laughs> squealing, man, and and then all of a sudden they they got out of there. They seen, brother, it was coming. And all the people, God bless, God was with us, man. They, they split, they, they parted the sea, brother, and that thing hit. The, finally got traction on that, on that asphalt and squealed, brother, and wow, and took off. And just as we uh, it, it took traction, uh, Chris, uh, uh, just as we took traction, 
they, they threw a big center block through the front windshield. Oh, man. And, oh, and, oh, man, and it was just busted. And, and, and I, I grabbed it. Hey, I grabbed the wheel. I steered us out of there and had the gas, man, and we got out of there. So we get on down, and, um, brother, it, it was a, a fall. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't winter, uh, luckily. And, and we stopped uh, down the road, to, uh, you know, at the first little store that got out of the, 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 the neighborhood, the area of Memphis. And, um, brother, we, we kicked all the rest of the glass because it was crazy. We had glass everywhere, man. And we went back, and, and we drove all the way, brother, 200 miles, uh, back to Nashville with, with uh, just a half a windshield, man, in oh. there. And we, had, had, and we froze to death, man. And, and uh, you know, we had the heat on, man, and, and, and uh, oh, brother, man, we... It was a mess, but but that was uh, you know Ricky. Oh man, yeah yeah. These guys, uh, they, they all deserve it, brother. They all deserve it. And and um, in fact, that story's in my book. You know, I tell that same story in my book. Uh, I know that's why I was laughing a moment ago. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I read you it not it too long ago. I, yeah, I just I just yeah, read it maybe, yeah. maybe 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 four days ago. I just read that story. So oh man, it, it was oh, great. Cool. It was great. Mike, did you have a statement you said you wanted to put out there about the Hall of Fame or something or? Well, actually, no. I just wanted to let Jimmy know that I, I'm about four hours from from his wrestling camp. So the next su- Sunday that I have the opportunity to get my my family together, I'm coming. Oh, I'm beautiful. coming down. Oh, I, I want you both oh. to know I'm jealous, then, because I'm, I'm I'm a good drive away. But uh, yeah. that, that doesn't yeah. mean I won't make that trip one day either, though. So but just remember, Chris, it's warm where you are. <laughs> uh, it's okay though. I can dress up. Hey, yeah. I, I'm I'm a Tennessee boy, forty years in, so I can deal with the yeah. cold if I have to. Yeah, I also hey, wanted to know, ask. Mike? Yeah, go ahead. I also wanted to ask you, Jimmy. You you had said you know that you've you've trimmed you've trimmed down and how you know it's not good for you to carry around a lot of bulk and that's something that Chris and I have both been uh, dealing with here lately. Both of us have been trying to to get our bodies right. Uh, I don't think either one of us took very good care of ourselves for for a good while. Do, would you have any uh, any any tips for? us or any of our listeners that, that are wanting to get their th- themselves into shape better to, to live a better life, to live longer. Um, because like you yeah, said, but, I mean, even even guys that, you know, spent their whole lives uh, keeping themselves in, in peak physical condition, you know, if, if they don't get that weight down, it can have a yeah, detrimental sir. effect on them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, and, and, uh, yeah, I, I get right that to that, and and the first thing is, uh, yeah, please come and hey, come this Sunday, brother. Bring your family. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be uh, 60, uh, 62 degrees here, sunny. So it's gonna be a pretty ride, brother. Come on up, man, and uh, uh, enjoy. And uh, we start at twelve noon, finish at four. Please, uh, uh, Mike, come any Sunday and be my guest. And I'd love to hug your neck and uh, meet your family and. Uh, this would be a perfect Sunday, brother, man, but uh, any Sunday. Man, if I didn't have to work, I'd be there this Sunday, but unfortunately, I, I got to work. I dig it. I dig it, man. We all got to work, brother. Hey, uh, yeah, um, uh, you know, hey, there's, it's really simple, man. Hey, there, there's uh, um, uh, one way to uh, uh, lose weight, and that's not to eat. There's one way to gain weight, and that's to eat, and this is a gospel. But here's a little funny joke, and then I'll get serious. Uh, then I, then I tell people, hey, a whole um, the, the the whole uh, uh, idea the the the, the um, uh, uh, here's how to uh, the a diet you know is is uh, you can um, if you want to lose weight I tell people hey eat anything you want I don't care what it is eat anything you want just don't swallow it <laughs> <laughs> so 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 that that, that that's the joke but um, yeah yeah to get serious man um, yeah yeah you know what I do. Um, uh, uh, brother, I I, uh, I um, eat for eight hours. I eat for eight hours a day, um, and and uh, basically, uh, my lovely wife, um, uh, you know, she does uh, uh, calories. She counts calories. I'm so proud of her uh, because uh, she she is uh, started with me, and and she's down to uh, her high school uh, weight also, uh, and and so she does that. But and that works for her. You got to find something that works for you. Points, calories, or or you know, high protein, low carbs, or whatever. You gotta find something that works for your body and and, and that suits you, that satisfies you. But but uh, here's what I do: I eat for eight hours, and I can basically um, 
uh, I got uh, back, uh, you know, when you get older, especially 73, 74, um, your, your metabolism, everything sh- uh, slows up, you know, your, in your body and that. But um, I got mine speeding up, Mal, because I train, man. I, you know, I, I, I stretch. I stretch all, all, all day. You, you, you know, uh, stretching is so important, you know, uh, uh, for, for when you get my age. Every time I, I move around the, the house and I'll, I'll do a little stretch, maybe 20 times a day, 20 times, man. And, and, and uh, if you see a dog uh, laying down, you know, uh, on your porch, brother, or in your home or wherever, and, and the first thing he does when he gets up, he stretches. You see him, he, his hind quarters, his front quarters. And, hey, hey, I mean, animals do it, you know. And it's a nature, it's a natural thing, and I have to do it, you know. Otherwise, I couldn't be uh, so mobile. So I keep it stretched. I stretch constant, you know. And then, um, but, but, uh, but, but uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, here's why I, I eat eight hours. Um, I pick your eight hours, man. Start whenever, and, and then I fast for 16 hours. So, so uh, uh, fast. Uh, so, so I don't. All I do is drink water. Then I drink. Uh, like, like two gallons of water a day, guys, you know. But um, I drink water, man, and, and, and uh, 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 the, the rest of that, them 16 hours, of course, I sleep, you know, uh, them uh, eight, eight, nine hours or whatever. It, when, I, when I'm home, um, you know, it's hard on the road, you can't. But, uh, but that, that's one, that, that's what I do. But, uh, you know, my angel, she does something else. And, and um, yeah, you know, the whole thing, you got to find something that suits you, that satisfies you. And that works, you know, and and um, it, it, you, you could take one diet and 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 get on it and um, uh, maybe take it to the limit. And when it stalls out, hey, go to a different way. Go go a, a different diet or uh, different things. You know, uh, uh, you know, I'm a firm believer. You know, in, in uh, uh, back to nature. Uh, uh, you know, as, as close as you can. And and um, hey, man, you know, hey vitamins, minerals, hey, you know, protein drink, whatever whatever it takes, you know, uh, uh, to uh, satisfy and to, that works. You just keep playing with it, man, well, until you I, get... We know we know the struggle. Chris and I both do. I mean, I've, I've had a little success with, with, with mine. Um, I, I've done the calorie counting thing, and I, and I do try to limit myself to to eating with only, within an only an eight hour window, but with the way I with with my job, I don't have a, a set time when I can actually eat dinner. So sometimes I get outside of that. But um, right, right, right. But but yeah, it, but I it am. is hard, and it, it's nice to uh, to get it to get advice from someone who has well, you know, see, spent their whole yeah. life being in shape. You bet, you bet, yeah, yeah. And, and well, I abuse my body, abuse my my uh, inside, outside, my brain, my you know, man, everything, you know. Uh, different times in my in my life my book tells everything and you know I, I in my book at the beginning i said you know i don't i could tell uh, dirt on everybody man uh in the that that has uh, been in our business the last 50 years because i know man you know they we all know dirt on each other you know and and a lot of people tell the dirt on people you know but uh, my book um, woo mercy daddy welcome my world with jimmy valiant story i don't tell dirt on, on nobody i but i do tell Dirty dirt, dirty dirt, brother, on me. You know, hey, 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 I did the cocaine 10 years, brother, seven days a week. You know, I did steroids, you know, uh, working out, you know. I, you know, I, I did everything, you know. Uh, everything, whatever I did, man, you know, uh, uh, I, the only way to do something is quit cold turkey. I quit that cold turkey. I quit uh, smoking when I was a kid, cold, cold turkey. I, I dipped Copenhagen 30 years. I threw them, threw that away. You you gotta you know you you gotta know when uh, you know to do whatever and 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 just make it happen if you want to continue living and uh, you know I, we, I me and Angel we got uh, 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 seven uh, uh, great great grandchildren and and a dozen great grandchildren you know and uh, you know if you want to see these uh, babies uh, uh, you know um, uh, live and raised and and uh, grow you know, grow. Uh, you know, you you got to take care of yourself. Um, uh, otherwise, you you know, I wouldn't be here. And Angel saved my life. She did. She um, she's a lovely my lovely lady. You know, I I was trying to on myself. I, I needed something a little extra, and I met my lady here, boy, and 
and uh, you know, together we we uh, we became vegetarians first for ten years, and I was afraid Angel uh, wasn't getting enough protein, so so uh, uh, which I was. Uh, so so uh, we we started eating a little fish and a little chicken, and and um, she eats a little uh, red meat. Now I, I I eat no red meat, but I do chicken and fish, and and um, uh, you know. Uh, uh, it, it's just, uh, hey, man, sweet potato, man. You, you know, you, it, it, hey, bake I have a, a sweet potato every day in my life, you know, with, with whatever, with my lunch. Um, you, you get the potato and, uh, you know, bake it up. And, and uh, man, they, now they come in that uh, uh, cellophane, that, what is it, Angel? Uh, Saram wrap, you know, uh, right from the store. You throw it in the uh, microwave, uh, nine minutes, brother. And it's unbelievable. You, you leave it in the wrapper. You buy it that. It's already washed. But anyway, I, I, I take all that meat out. Instead of putting brown sugar, uh, butter on it, now I don't use that. I put a little olive oil. That's a good fat, a good fat, see, and a good... And, and that, that uh, I use olive oil instead of butter on, on anything. You know, I mix it instead of mayonnaise. Then, you know, I'll make tuna salad or something or tuna. Now I put olive oil on it, you know, or coconut oil. A good, good, uh, good, good oil. So, so you know, it, it's um, something that uh, I'm really into, and and I study it, and uh, uh, just like uh, you know, everything's a science. Everything's a science you do, guys. You know, and uh, 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 losing weight is one of them. Hey, uh, Jimmy, uh, I told you I was. I tried to keep you too long here. We're pushing about the, you, four, about, about the 45 minute mark here and now. Thank but you, sir. It, it, if I could, I want to slip in a couple of quick questions. You can be fast Please. with them. You can be fast with them if you want to. It won't hurt my feelings Please. here. Uh, one of my uh, one of our listeners wanted to know what you thought about some of the current product they have out there today, like John Cena, Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns. Would they have lasted during the time and back in your heyday? Do you think? Do you think they would have been successful, or are they a different breed today that's out there? No, no, they would, and, and you know, I, I take my hat off to these kids. They're great athletes, great bodies, man. And uh, you know, every ten years, our business changes, man. You know, uh, we did so much more wrestling uh, in the '60s, you know, and then in the '70s, you know, uh, uh, you know, we started uh, coming off, uh, uh, you know, some of the high flying. Bobby, pretty uh, Bobby Eaton was. Uh, 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 you know, one of the first ones that come off the top rope, and you know, you know, every 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 feather. Hey, I can I can just uh, picture now, uh, uh, you, you know, uh, um, uh, Harley Race and and, and uh, uh, um, Briscoe, you know, Jack Briscoe uh, going to our Broadway man in, in St. Louis, and and he's got uh, Harley's got Jack up in a, a suplex, man, you know. Uh, and, and, man, he'd hold him up there, seemed like, for five minutes, brother, and he'd come down, boom. It was just spectacular, you know. But but now, you know, it's completely different, you know. That that, that would bring people out of the city. Well, hey, in the 50s and 60s, brother, uh, just uh, uh, coming off the rope with a big forearm, you know, uh, would bring the people out of their seats, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. But, but, yeah, yeah. And not, today, not they're, the today they're doing... Triple oh. four fifty splashes from oh. the top rope and unbelievable, yeah, unbelievable. I don't, yeah. I don't I get how to do it. I, I, yeah, don't, I don't. I'll tell you what. The, what what impressed me as as a child, as a little kid, was watching Big Van Vader do a moonsault off the top rope. Go. A man that go. large should not move that way. There you go. Yes, sir. That yes, is sir, true. Brother. That is true. And uh, you, you know, if, if yeah. I could, the, the last one I really got for you here. Thank you. Um, just tell us a little bit about the feud with Paul Jones Army. That was a big thing back in the day. That was a big deal to us. We watched it. We got to, we had to go through watching. You know the people turn on you all the time. You lost uh, Pez Wiley. You lost Manny Fernandez. I believe, uh, if I remember correctly, Baron Von Raske was with you at one point and turned right, or was it the opposite oh, yes. way. I can't remember now. It may have been the opposite. He may have went from Paul Jones to you, or from you to Paul Jones. I can't remember. But the other two, I just rewatched those videos this morning. Uh, Pez Watley jumping you at the interview session, uh, Manny Fernandez taking the money, hitting you with a briefcase. Uh, just to touch on that little, on, on that feud real quick, and just what it meant Thank to you, you, I mean, to go that long, I mean, what, what was it like? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, and, and uh, yes, uh, Chris, you know, um, uh, it, it was probably the, one of the longest feuds uh, uh, continuing uh, in one territory, uh, uh, you know, um, it, it lasted like five years, man, and, uh, 
Uh, of course, the big blow off is when uh, they took my hair and then I took his hair and it was done. But, but yeah, it was one person, you know, his Valiance War is me against uh, uh, the, the Paul Jones, number one Paul Jones in his army, you know, General Jones in his army. And, and uh, yeah, they, oh man, he had uh, Barbarian, he had uh, uh, Abdullah the Butcher, he had the superstar Billy Graham, he had, he had, uh, uh, um, uh, as you said, Fernandez. He had uh, Shaska Watley. He had all them guys in his army. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Baron von Roska and, and and all them guys, brother. We did it, you know. Uh, and I had to wrestle either um, uh, uh, one of his guys, one of his army, or him. Uh, seven days a week, brother. I had to wrestle uh, for five years, and uh, it was a great run, brother. And uh, of course, a, a run. Longer than that is me and Jerry Lawler. We're still uh, running, man. You know, I oh, go yeah. to Memphis. We still get in. Yeah, and and that 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 started in 1977. So, uh, figured that w- what what would that be? Uh, Forty years this uh, n- next coming year, uh, or something. So that that's a running feud. But but this was seven days a week because uh, that's how in the Crockett's um, we wrestled seven days a week. Uh, Chris, um, we wrestled. Uh, uh, once a night, you know, of course, seven days for a week, and then we wrestle twice on Sunday, twice on Saturday. So, so we'd wrestle nine times. Actually, wrestle because we'd do a double shot uh, sa- Saturday and Sunday. So we'd wrestle nine times a week, brother, in seven days, and uh, uh, so that was something. But hey, before I get off here, man, um, you're taping, and uh, I want to just do a little promo for your show and uh, uh, Body Slam uh, the co- competition, and and uh, you. Please play it anytime you want, or put it on a, you know one of your uh, uh, beginning uh, for your shows, or whatever you want to oh, do. Oh sure, with hey, it, hey, we would really love it, man. That'd be all. That'd be awesome. You know, Lance Russell offered the same thing. I got to get back with him on that too. That'd be awesome if you would. That'd be great. Okay, okay, brother. Now I'm gonna go in three, right? All right, go in three. Oh, mercy! This is Handsome Jimmy Vian, professional wrestler, the Boogie Wooker Man. Tell my people and my brothers and sisters, don't you dare, don't you dare miss Chris and Mike at Body Slam the competition. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's awesome, man. We appreciate you, Jimmy. Jimmy, I want to tell you what. I really appreciate you coming on the show with us today. It's getting a little bit harder to get some people to come on the show. We're trying to get as many as we can. We got Bill Dundee coming on Sunday. We got Ricky Morton coming February 7th. Uh, it was a blast having you today. We're going to play you in February as well. Should be a, a really, really big month for us. So we really, really appreciate you coming on today. And, uh, you know, like I said, be looking for me in that store again soon, and I'm sure you'll see Mike in person before you. Oh, I'm coming. Me. I'm coming to see him. But I'm getting my hug. <laughs> being that he's closer, but uh, you, you'll have to put mine on hold. I guess I'll be getting it one day for sure. Thank you so much, guys. Love you. God bless. Have a blessed day. Thank good thoughts, guys. Thank good thoughts and good luck with your diet. God bless you. Thank you Bye-bye. very much, Jimmy. Have a great day. Thank you. All right, Mike. Are you still there? Woo, mercy day. <laughs> Was that not a great interview or what? Um, he is a definite character. He's a great guy to talk with and everything. The book is great. If you don't, I know you don't have it. I definitely recommend getting it. Uh, anything from the store. He's got some great stuff there if you want something autographed. And he's always got great prices, too. That magazine I bought was uh, early 1980s, I think, or late 70s for like 10 bucks with an autograph on it. I mean, that was, that's all, and I even went through it when I got just to look at it, just to, you know, get the trip down memory lane, you know, it was great. But, um, definitely, if you get a chance, visit the store, like he said, man, you'll appreciate it. And all you guys listening out there, you go visit as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap the show up, Mike, and just say for all you guys out there listening, we hope you enjoyed today. Um, if you did, please write us, let us know. Visit our website, www.bodystandardcompetition.com. Download the podcast and share it with your friends. Have them download it as well. Uh, it's, like I said, it's a great talk. They'll definitely enjoy it. Uh, Mike, anything you got for us before you go today? New Day rocks. I knew it was coming. I had to ask. All right. We will be back on uh, the f- next week from here, and we'll have something uh, special planned for you at that point in time. We don't want to give it away. It might just be us talking. You know, that's always special, too. Or we might have a guest you want to hear from as well. Just make sure you tune in to find out what's going on. Until that time, everybody, keep enjoying wrestling, and we'll talk to you again next week. Have a great day, Mike.
Have a great day, Chris. All right.